Free Toad. Um. No more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> Wish she'd get into mine. <laughs> These are our POSs of guards. So that you way, uh. To the girl's execution. Such a waste. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Dang, I was hoping I'd get to sneak in and play as Gav and stuff. I hope you've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. Hmm. <sighs> yep, that sounds about right. You have a plan? I don't. <gasps> Torgal! Torgal has a plan. Follow Torgal! <laughs> what? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Wait, wait! What? What? Is that just... Oh, my word, he has a devil trigger. Oh my word, he turned into a full-on Okami. He's a little Okami. We're getting out of here. And Togul, thank you. Oh man, even his wolf is cool now. Even his how is even his wolf. Even his howl is cool now. Seriously, Torgal, what's up with you? Stop hunting us until Kubka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Okay, y'all might want to like clear the next like again, ten square we'll miles. This is about to be like such a fire boss fight. It's gonna have an Efrit phase and everything. I can tell. You're late. Gotta. Truly, I see no throne to defend. If he throws it at me, I might. <gasps> Okay, I thought he was I thought he was going to like pick it up and throw it at me. <laughs> it was you. <laughs> you you killed her. Yeah, I did. What you going to do about it? Ooh, ooh. And I am fortunate indeed. Oh yeah, I can feel that music building up. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. Oh, this is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. But it seems... I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. Yeah, you shall! You will pay for what you've done. I'll tear you apart with my friends! All righty, bring it on. And what have you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? Dude, don't answer his logic. Just kill him. Oh my word. He's just starting off swinging, huh? Oh my word. Oh, okay. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, it's so cool. Oh man! Oh man! Whew. I'm getting exhausted watching them. I am in my element. No what? What? Come on, wear him down, 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 wear him down! Oh my word! Nice! No! That was my bad. Ooh! Ooh! Right there! There we go! There we go. Hugo is beaten. He's defeated, not slain. Which means that we still gotta fight Titan. Do it. Do it. Turn into Titan. Oh, 
Oof. Come on, man. Did we take off his hands with that? We took both his hands, dog. We took both his hands, dog. That's what happens when you bring fists to a sword fight. He's like, uh... I didn't... Okay. He didn't... I didn't even touch him yet. Okay. Gotta be more careful with those stumps, man. They're gonna get infected. I thought that squished him at first. I was about to be like, don't you dare deny me my Titan boss fight. I'll fucking kill you. So do it. Go Titan. There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Huh? Wait! Don't you dare deny Another me my Titan boss fight. Us. Don't you dare! He really just strutted up and stole my Titan boss fight. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tom's will have read about it. But what I want to know so is... So I guess he's an Okami? ...afterwards. It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Aww. I hope it doesn't. Anything. What if we went up to the trophy cabinet and saw Koopka's hands? That'd be funny. How are you doing? Quick look. This guy sounds like a dork. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Who are you? Mid. When did you get back? Just now. I mean, she's no Benedicta, but she didn't have to do her like that. Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? It's the boatman. My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... What a she-devil. I see why they have to cut you off from the combat encounters from time to time, because then what would wind up happening is, like, players like me... We'd do all the Bloody combat, hell. and then she the story would be like stuff. dirt easy. Yeah. We'll see what and it, we'd do. kind of ruin it for ourselves. Because like this isn't this isn't like uh, Final Thanks. Fantasy VII, and mids, no doubt. Where the uh, combat is heavily emph no, emphasizing. Let's see if Bardolf's available. On your levels and stats, no, like a skill can play a huge part in this like i could run out level one somehow right and i could it would be entirely possible to kill a level 45 enemy as a level one sid they don't want me to do that but it's entirely possible so they need to space it out because people like me would be the guys who would go oh okay wait for it wait for it Oh, I was waiting for him to get juggled into the air, but that works too. Good job, Torgal. Gonna hear some screaming and crying and terrified death and... He looked at me funny. They looked at me funny. I wasn't gonna have it. I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. Yeah. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with yeah. that same joins our ranks. The agony King. of removing the brand more than sees to that. King! You'll know how much bravery that takes. They are all these people are all kings and queens and I stand I every single one of doubted them. Doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Don't do that. You're a great leader. 
because you're humble enough to ask for help when you need it. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. I figured he looked kind of like when they Arctic. Had his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. Aww. In one of our oldest bestiaries, Interesting. I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His so name we really do have a Fenrir. Yeah, we have Fenrir a Fenrir. Wolf, though Torgal's power is his own. Yeah. His latent birthright as a frost wolf. Torgal's it like, yeah, to don't unlocked. steal my thunder. Oh, get you, Torgal. Yeah. <laughs> you're an even finer hound than we thought. He's, he's so confused. He's just like, I don't know and why you're complimenting me, but I'll take the compliments. You need not fear for Torgal's health. Yay! Has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> what? Well, keep at it. Yeah, if keep at it. If piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. I'll just stand right here the whole time. Oh, uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. Oh, no. A guest? Well, who's this guest? Why did the, why did the cutscene budget up just now? What happened? The trouble! <gasps> It's a Uncle! Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan. Nor less that was him? <laughs> Why does that guy at the front look like Mads Mikkelsen? Let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. Huh? But they're the surrendering. The will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Dang it! I don't get what this and guy's deal what of is. your subjects, your radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the exactly, would Ge bear the brunt of it. Exactly, genociding a surrendering people is the worst idea you can move because all your soldiers are gonna feel expendable. All of your subjects are gonna feel expendable. Sure, you'll get rid of the enemy, but you'll also get rid of any respect your nation has for you. This is a terrible idea, frick, bro. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Dang, every everybody in burns, this universe is... Another can be built. Oh my gosh. They're 100% sending him to die, so that way the, uh, the other son can, uh... May Griga forgive you. May Griga forgive you. Bold man. They're 100% sending him to his death, so that way the other son can rule. That's 100% what's happening here. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Yeah, my <laughs> uncle's a bit eccentric and obnoxious. Yeah, I'm sorry. That means that Odin and Garuda were having sex. Odin and Garuda. Titan and Garuda. But Garuda really wanted to bang Ramu. Dang, Dick. Garuda really just spreading them feathers for everyone. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> Aww. I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Aww. That's a cute memory. Well, I like the music in this area. I like the looks of things. I like the vibes. I love how we're traveling the with Uncle Byron. Your way already, my boy. The ruins mark the road to the inn. I'm just exploring. Tell you what, th what this game needs when it comes to PC, the mod I think it needs. I think it needs a like a Devil May Cry mod. What do you recommend? 
Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. Burn Nailed. this establishment to the ground. Go. No way. Is Joshua also here? <coughs> Dog. <coughs> Dog. <coughs> what? <laughs> All righty. Oh, I'm gonna be really mad if we just happen to be in the same location and then just not interact. Shit, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't eat. <laughs> He's like, I paid for this. I ain't about to. I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. He's like, I paid for this. I ain't about to let you spill it. <laughs> Check the window. Check the window. Check the window. What is it now? It means nothing. Let's go. Okay, best faith interpretation of that story is that Clive assumes there's a reason Joshua doesn't want to see him. And then rather than freak his uncle out with, oh yeah, Joshua's actually alive, by the way, he's just going to keep that to clutch to his chest, I guess.